Hey everybody, um, just we're going to cut a real quick video just to kind of show uh, the future of uh, BlackBerry and what the camera on it can actually do. Now anybody who's got BlackBerry Messenger, the, the new version 5.0, is going to know that you can actually go through and you can screen, uh, you can scan somebody else's what's called a QR code in order to add them onto your BlackBerry Messenger. And the way that this would work is when you go into BlackBerry Messenger, you hit the menu button, you go down to add a contact. And then it's asking, do you want to add a contact um, by entering their pen, email, or phone number, or scan invitation barcode from another BlackBerry, or show your invitation barcode. So what we're going to choose on this one is to scan an invitation barcode. And what we've got here is on the 8520, um, we've got it pulled up. So this is the barcode for the 8520. So we're just going to tell it that we're going to scan. And then the camera pops up. And then what we're going to do is just focus in here. And then all of a sudden, as you can see, it's saying that, hey, this you're going to add this person. Do you want to skip the step? Select contact or new contact. We're just going to tell it to skip right now and put this down. And on this BlackBerry here, it's asking the same thing. So we're going to skip this. And now this is actually the contact is on here as well. So that's pretty cool. But what here's, here's where we're going to show here is pretty much how this is going to um, kind of enhance your BlackBerry experience. And now there are some... some um, QR code readers out there which you can get for your BlackBerry. We really haven't found one that works all that great so the sample that we're going to give here is actually going through the BlackBerry Messenger in order to do this. Now as you can see back here in the background we have um, a on our blog we've just got a page that's going to be a sample test page so here we've got Google Maps, uh, we got the BlackBerry Guy website, we scroll down the BlackBerry Guy application, Pandora, and then some tests down here. So the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go up here to where the Google Maps is on the BlackBerry again, I'm going to go into BlackBerry Messenger. I'm going to go to Add Contact, and I'm going to tell it to scan invitation barcode. So then I'm going to go up here, put the barcode for Google Maps. And as you can see, the BlackBerry now is instantly going to go to the download page for Google Maps. Let's go ahead and back out of there, and we are going to go ahead and select Add Contact. Um, move this camera down just a little bit so we're gonna do the same thing again scan invitation code from another BlackBerry uh, this time we're gonna go ahead and scroll down uh, because if you wanted right now to get to the BlackBerry Guy application you would have to put in this URL uh, mynationlink.com slash application slash capital BBG dot JAD so what we could just do here is let it focus in and it may take it a second because the flash was just turning on and I've had a little bit too much coffee today, so I'm shaking a little bit. So there, as you can see, that took us instantly to the download page for that. So uh, this is pretty cool. So what you'll be able to do is basically you can go in here, and if you've got, um, if you're a BlackBerry app developer, uh, you'll be able to go ahead and put a QR code up and say, hey, just scan this, and you can get the application. Now another thing that you'll be able to do, and again, just pull it up through Create Contact, and as you can see here, the next thing that we have is we've got a text test. So what we'll just do is scan that. And make sure I'm on the right one and as you can see what pops up is it just says this is a test because that's the text that I wanted to put in there uh, go ahead and go back in here add the contact uh, next one is going to be a calendar test now this shows where the BlackBerry really isn't ready for this yet so what I'll do is I'll scan the invitation for the calendar test and as you can see it pops up and here it pops up on the screen and it's actually given the information on when the calendar test is for um, but obviously since the BlackBerry, since the application really hasn't been developed for this yet, this is all that it's going to tell us. There is no way that we can go ahead and just save this into the address book or into our calendar. Uh, same thing with the address book. I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, add a contact. As you can see, we've got an address test right here with the QR code. We're going to tell it to scan invitation from another BlackBerry. Address test. And there we have, uh, it shows up as a me card. So it shows BlackBerry Guy, uh, the company BlackBerry, the name BlackBerry Guy, uh, the organization BlackBerry Guy slash Nation Link Wireless, the telephone number, oops, let me get it in front of the camera here, the URL, email address, address, and you can scroll down and get the rest of it. So again, um, the only thing you can do here is you can click OK. So as of right now, there's really no way that you can click, you know, copy to address book. And then the final thing that we're going to show is the phone number test. So again, here's a QR code for the phone number. We've got the main number here for NationLink Wireless. 
we're going to go ahead on here. Oh, wrong one. Add contact, not contact information. So in BlackBerry Messenger, we got to add contact, scan invitation barcode from another BlackBerry. And this time, we're going to go down to where the phone test is. And as you can see, it's automatically calling NationLink Wireless. So, um, again, just a real quick overview of, of what the QR codes can do. If you wanted to check this out and, and do it for yourself, again, you're going to have to have BlackBerry Messenger 5.0 in order to do this. Um, there are uh, Neo readers out there. There's a few other um, applications out there. Uh, I can't remember them off the top of my head. In fact, well, we've got one right here, ScanLife. Uh, scan life on your BlackBerry. You can get that for your BlackBerry as well and, and attempt this. Uh, the issue that we found though is that it's, it doesn't really work all that well and it's kind of shaky on the 85 series as well just because of the fact that you don't have the autofocus. So the best devices this actually works on are going to be your <coughs> excuse me, BlackBerry Tours, uh, BlackBerry 8900s, and the BlackBerry Storm, all the devices which have the autofocus. So again, just a, a quick overview. If you want to check this out, go to mynationlink.com slash blog, and in the right-hand corner or on the right-hand menu, you'll notice there's a link. Let me go ahead and zoom in on it for you. That says application QR code demo page. Uh, so you can feel free to check this out for yourself. And uh, again, it just kind of shows you what the future is for BlackBerry, how it's going to make it a little bit easier um, in your everyday life, where rather than have to go and, like I said, if you wanted to get the BlackBerry Guy application, rather than having to put in this long URL here, you would just be able to take that, scan it from your BlackBerry handheld, and it'll take you right to the download page. So and another thing as well is you can print these off um, if you wanted to, if you wanted to create some type of flyer or advertisement and um, like say that we're having an event and we wanted people to download the BlackBerry Guy application we could actually just go ahead and print this off onto that flyer so that when they got home or later that night or if they just walked up to a table and wanted to get a copy of that all they would have to do is scan that with their BlackBerry and it would pop up so again uh, if you have any questions go ahead and leave them in the comments section and we'll make sure to get them addressed